Welcome to the Seminoles.com Daily Report for Thursday, October 8th. I'm Scott Cody. It's a big week for Florida State football as the Seminoles are faced with the task of defending Georgia Tech's triple option offense. In last year's game, it was a fumble on the one-yard line that cost the Seminoles the win at Bobby Dodd Stadium, something that provides more motivation for Saturday's game at Dope Campbell Stadium. A definitely tough loss. Uh, a lot of emotion going into that game, um, a lot of emotion throughout the game. Uh, you know, it was kind of back and forth. It was a real hard battle, and uh, we had the chance to win at the end, and uh, just kind of let it slip out of our fingers. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, that might be some motivation this year that we know we're not going to let that happen again. If we have a chance to win, we're, we're going to punch it in, and uh, we're going to come out with a W. The number five ranked Seminole soccer team takes on the number 11 ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons tonight up in Winston Salem. It's going to be tough, but. Um you know, we uh, again, we, we've done okay on the road last year. We did okay uh, at home last year. And if we uh, go out and we play well, then we'll get the result we deserve. And if we don't play well, then we'll probably still get the result we deserve. But, uh, um, you know, we feel good about uh, about the weekend coming up. But we know that we're going to be pushed again uh, against two good teams uh, uh, in their backyard. It's a big deal. We've proven that we're a big force to be reckoned with. And I think we're going to make a big statement going on this away trip. The Florida State volleyball team hits the road today to also travel up to Wake Forest, where they will take on the Demon Deacons on Friday night and then make the short trip to Durham to face the Duke Blue Devils on Saturday night. What we're learning to do is play off the other team's crowd. So when we go to Duke and Wake Forest and the crowd's going to be loud for Duke and Wake Forest, we have learned to like take that energy in and pretend like it's for us. You know, embrace that energy and use that energy for our own strength. Duke was picked to win the ACC this year and has been a team that typically is at the top of the ACC each season. So it's going to be a tremendous opportunity for us to go out and see what we can do on the road again. We know we've played well on the road during this season, so we know we're capable of doing that. We just have to be able to, to settle down, cut back on our errors a little bit, and just try to find a way to make the big plays at the end of some of these sets that we're losing. And finally, the men's tennis team begins the main draw of the ITA All-American Championships in Tulsa, Oklahoma. ACC Player of the Year Johnny Zabone is seated eighth and will look to make some noise during the fall season. Bidding closes at 4 p.m. today for the pink soccer jerseys, so be sure to bid on yours now. That's all for today's Daily Report. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.